Well, hey everybody, this is the start of something I've been meaning to do for a long time. I got out of one of our old local history books a small blurb that mentioned a mine. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna go looking for. Well, the old history book gives us a very little insight as to what kind of mine, copper mine, lead mine, salt mine, just mine. Well, pretty much I parked on the main road, which you can hear back there, and I'm heading for the south side of this mountain. Back in the early 1700s, this whole area, there was a lot of debate as to where lines would be drawn. And in the book, it states, with the shifting of people's properties, it also mentions the old abandoned mine. Hmm. Well, that's rather curious. I have been all over, well, the other side of this mountain, and there's a reason for that. See, when the glaciers receded, dragging all that earth with it, in New England here, I've observed, it's the northerly sides that have the slopes. Think of where all your ski areas are. It's the southerly sides that are steep and have a lot of deposit. The reason I've been so much on that side it's because it was heavily settled. I've been to all those farms. But I've never come completely around this side. And that's my best guess as to where this mine would be. So unless for some crazy reason I get lucky and just walk up to it, I have a feeling that this is something we're going to be able to, well, find together over a bunch of videos. This is the time of the year to do it. I've picked the center point and I'm gonna do the easterly side today, or as much as I can. And as we go, we'll be looking for the signs. You would think if they were mining up here, you know, there'd be a cart pass. There'd be a way to get whatever it was out of the ground, out of the area. You'd also think there'd be all the refuse coming out of the ground. It's gonna be rocks, that's, that's a given. And we're pretty flat where I am right now, so we need to keep heading towards that horizon. Uh, from the top there, hiking down, I've only gone uh, a short distance because it's so steep. So I'll be kind of looking for things like this. Beaten trails. Yeah, I'm sure people still come and hike, but as I had said recently, a lot of these hard packed trails are a lot older than modern day times. And as we've learned through the years, reading the language of the landscape, anything the colonists on have done in the past 400 years, it's painfully obvious when you see it. Man leaves its footprint and fingerprints everywhere. Oh yeah, it's getting steep now. So right about this area, all the way around the mountain, to the other side is where I'm thinking to look. It goes from being, you know, somewhat of a grade to the top. can't get much more up than that. It's actually over vertical in a lot of that face because of all this stuff that's broken off. So you can see as to where we're limited as to how far we can go up the peak. It's, it's sharp on this side. So it's just gonna be a matter of, you know, a few hikes going around this side. The road may sound loud to you guys, but it's probably it's probably quarter to a half a mile that way, so it's a good chunk of land to have to go back and forth on. But I really believe it's going to be along this ridge line. You're going to dig into the side of a mountain looking for stuff. All right, keep heading that way. So look at all this. This is what we find on the south sides 
of the mountains here in this part of New Hampshire. I'm sure it's like that throughout the northern hemisphere. And on the other side, from the glaciers receding, it's a lot more soil. Wow. You can see how far I've come up looking to the south. Boy, look at you. Leave them alone. Well, as I said earlier, I've been on this side of the mountain uh, many times, and I believe I've come to about this point at this elevation. So I've been that way. I've come about a mile to the east. Not the no signs of man. It can be anything, you guys know. Cart path, a couple stacked stones, old tree, whatever. So I'm gonna drop down a bit to where it's a bit more traversable and see if we see any any signs down there and aside from it being a great hike every now and then I see the comment well too bad you didn't find anything sometimes not finding anything is the biggest piece you get into an area like this and you're like well it definitely didn't happen over here. Take that right off the map. The more we chip away, the better chance we have. Right now, it's the... If I was here over 300 years ago, where would I be walking and looking? topographical standards of the area this isn't too bad right well it's remarkable how quickly the landscape can change man I just went down into a pit and back out whoa my kneecaps are on fire but it feels good it doesn't look any better I haven't seen any signs I mean, I'm even surprised that nobody was up here splitting stones for cellar holes and stuff. Back the way we just came is documented as the ancient road. And people out here for a long time, even before documented settlement. So. Being it so clearly, we don't see that anything happened here. It's kind of a good thing. Well, being that this is a Friday edition of Not Thursday, we'll pick this up next week. These videos are all part of the if and when. If it is found, you batch all these together, we got a pretty cool story. I guess it's a 50-50. There was a mine here, or somewhere down the line with folklore, stories were told and there actually was not a mine but either way proven or disproven we have some information all right everybody we will see you soon get outside and enjoy yourself and until next time enjoy your not thursday